What's going on guys, I'm Ebers from Red Buffer from the LEGO video, and today I'm telling my thoughts and opinions about these three sets that are releasing on August 1st. No, September 1st, it's August. Uh, and I have notes. So, hopefully this video is going to turn out better than some of the other videos that I've done in similar formats like this, but let's start off the video with the two Ahsoka sets. So, 75362... Uh, Ahsoka's T6 Shuttle, which will retail for $80 on September 1st, with just under 600 pieces, because it's missing one. I don't know why. You get four minifigures, Ahsoka, Sabine, Huang, and Merrick. Uh, all these figures look exceptionally well. Huang, the head kind of loses me. So, this set has some good play features. You can open a lot, a lot of compartments. You can rotate the wings all of 360 degrees. And you have landing gear. So, check out MNR Productions. Is, check out his uh, comparison of the new T6 versus the old T6. Because I'm not going to get into that right now. But... Honestly, I think for 80 bucks, it's what you expect. Uh, and the ship looks pretty good. I would rate it about an 8 out of 10. Uh, Ahsoka is about a 9 out of 10. Sabine is an 8 out of 10. Huang is a 6 out of 10. That head just really bugs me. Uh, plus the fact that, number one, I don't even... I don't even think he has light printing. Uh, and he just doesn't look like a droid, if I'm being honest. Except for his head. Uh, and Merrick is a 9.5 out of 10. So, for the minifigures, it's a 32.5 out of 40. And all, in, all together, it is a 40.5 out of 50. So, the E-Wang and Shin Hattie Starfire 75364 will retail for $110 on September 1st with five main figures and 1,056 pieces. So, you get Morgan Elizabeth, Balin's Sh Skull? Skull? I have no clue. Shin Hattie, Captain Porter, and a New Republic astromech droid. They All these figures for both sets are exclusive, and I think they look pretty good. Uh, I'm going to try a source speed run through this, because I can't really breathe in this thing. And I'm going to get carbon dioxide poisoning. Uh, Morgan is about an 8 out of 10. Uh, she should have had uh, skirt printing. Balin is about a 9 out of 10. Or a 9.5 out of 10. He looks dang near perfect. And I can't really find anything wrong with him, but I can't give him a 10 out of 10. Shin Hattie, a 9 out of 10. Captain Porter, 8 out of 10. And the New Republic droid, a 7 out of 10. There's something about that head printing. So, 41.5 out of 50. For the E-Wing, you have landing gear, storage, and stud shooters. For Shin, whatever her name is, Hattie, Hattie, Hattie. For her Starfighter, you have landing gear, stud shooters, and storage. E-Wing is the first time we've ever gotten an E-Wing, uh, and it was a concept ship. Uh, I think it was, it might have been Ralph McQuarrie, I have no clue. Uh... Yeah, it's the first time we've ever gotten an E-Wing officially by LEGO. I know there have been tons of mocks. Uh, and it's the first time, I think, that we've seen a Starfire uh, like Sin Hatties, Shin Hatties, whatever. Uh, the E-Wing is an 8 out of 10, and the Starfighter is a 7 out of 10. So all in all... A 56 as 70. 
All right, now let's get on to the Republic gunship. 75354 with 1,083 pieces. Uh, retailing for $140 on September 1st. All these were... All these are releasing on August 1st. August. September 1st. Uh, you get five minifigures. Padme, Palpatine, Commander Fox, and two Coruscant Guard Troopers. Padme is a 10 out of 10. I can't find anything wrong with this figure. Palpatine is a 9 out of 10. That hairpiece throws me off, and that face print is weird. I can't even explain it. Fox is a 7 out of 10. For obvious reasons, Torso is misprinted. Should have had a waist cape. Uh, and the Coruscant Guard Troopers are an 8 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to put a picture up here of Custom Fox, which is what he should look like, versus Official Fox. See the difference in the breastplates? Yeah. They're supposed to look like this, not like this. Come on, Lego. You're Lego! If I'm being honest, it's probably going to cost two extra cents to fix it. And like ten extra cents to print the... to uh, actually make the waist capes. And don't even get me started on the Captain Rex leaks. I'm going to cover that in September. So, the gunship looks like the smallest gunship yet. And it's really not accurate. You get double doors, no bubble turrets, and it's in an unknown red color. It looks kind of like dark red, but it's kind of lighter than dark red. But it's darker than regular red, so I have no clue. Lego might have manufactured a whole new color, for all I know. Uh, you have an okay carry handle, a rear bubble turret, n not bubble turret. You have a rear turret, uh, back and side doors, and, uh, two pilot seats, obviously, um, and you also get some storage in some cracks and crevices. So, uh, I forgot to count up everything. The gunship, I think, is about a 6 out of 10. Up on screen for the official count of the minifigs and what their points are and the ship and everything put together and their points. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm being kind. Uh, bump up the count for the gunship. Alright, so that was my thoughts and opinions. I tried to speedrun this because... I really can't breathe in this. It's not a joke. Taking such shaky breaths. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, I'm definitely going to pick up at least two of these sets. And if you're wondering why I didn't do my thoughts and opinions about the ghost, that's because I already did it back in June. Uh, no, July. I did it back in July. Uh, and... If you guys want to see that video, link's in the description. Link's also in the description for my TikTok account, as well as MNR's video, his comparison video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This video is pretty long, nine minutes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, hopefully I'm going to round off August 2023 with a live stream of building the rest of the sets from the August wave that I bought. I'm hopefully going to finish up filming and clear everything off. And then in September, hopefully the trailer is going to release. I don't know when, uh, but I might not finish filming because I still have a bit to do. Uh, I completely overestimated my abilities. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully a live stream on Tuesday. It's going to come out very late. Like, I want to say... In between 2 
p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's not 100% confirmed, uh, but hopefully. And that's going to be Tuesday's video. So don't wake up super early and wait for a 9 o'clock video because it's not going to come out. This video does come out at 9 o'clock. Fingers crossed. But that video is not. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys, hopefully, in the live stream. Bye-bye.